good morning, good afternoon, and also good evening to all of you brothers and sisters in Christ. Today, we are going to continue with the wisdom of God, and we're asking the Lord to show us, to guide us, to teach us about the perhaps the contentious subject of judging others. So let me just hand, hand over to Gail so that she may uh, read some scripture for us. Hello there, family. Um, we read Jesus' words in Matthew 7, verse 1 to 5. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. Thank you, girl. Those words do not judge it is i think uh, it's 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 a sentence that uh, as as uttered by jesus that is that is not being clearly understood by by many many christians these these words of jesus are often quoted by people you know they're saying do not judge because many don't seem to know too much of the bible if i can put it like that or even the context of these words because jesus talk especially now in this in matthew 7 1 to 5 G, what jesus is saying there about um uh judging is it's he's he's, he's actually talking about uh, hi hypocrisy he's telling us that we there's no ways that we can even judge a fellow christian's actions um in in the church if um if we if we ourselves are hypocrites because he says Take the plank out of your own eye or the log out of your own eye before you look at the speck of dust or the sawdust in your brother or, or your sister's eye. And then he, Jesus continues saying, you hypocrite, first take it out of your own, your own eye. Now, please note what Jesus is saying. He says, you hypocrite, first, first take the log out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So in other words, Jesus is saying, when it comes to the church, when it comes to the actions of brothers and sisters in church, and it is not honoring God, it is not honoring and, and glorifying the name of God, or in, in, in our case now also, uh, uh, Jesus Christ, then we do have the right to, to judge that action See, because that's what we're doing. We're judging that action or that statement. And, and we say, and we, we need to be able to go to that brother or sister and say, listen, what you've done or what you've said is not right. It's contrary to what, what the word teaches us. And what Jesus is, is further teaching us here is that uh, we can do that, but we have to ensure that we also are not acting as hypocrites. We might be, we might be tackling someone that is swearing and they, they're using, uh, you know, uh, really nasty swear words. But in actual, uh, in actual fact, we also swear, and we, don't, we might not use those swear words, but we use other swear words that are also nasty. So we can't, we can't be hypocrites. That's what, the, that's what the context is about. It's not to be hypocrites. But because Jesus clearly says that before you go and sort uh, something that's in your brother's eye, you need to first look at yourself and that's what this whole uh, message uh, this wisdom of god is about regarding judging others okay let's uh, read some more scripture um john 7 verse 24 jesus says stop judging by mere appearances and make a right judgment and in 1 corinthians 2 verse 15 and 16 the spiritual man makes judgments about all things, but he himself is not subject to any man's judgment. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? 
but we have the mind of Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you. So, family, what, what we're saying is that God's word frequently uh, tells us uh, that um, we we need to have discernment and um, and and when we we need to have that wisdom and discernment when we judge the words and actions of others. First of all, am I a hypocrite? As I as I'm judging someone else, am I a hypocrite? Second of all, is it is it um, if I am going to talk to someone or uh, if two or three of us go and talk to someone regarding what they're doing and and it is uh, in in, uh, in in God's word and God's wisdom and it's not right, is is it actually um, uh, dishonoring God? And if it is, then yes, we do. We need to go and talk to that person and say it's it's, it's that's incorrect what you're doing. And, you know, the apostles judge the doctrine and, and the theology of false teachers. And, and also in the, in the, in the epistles, they, they continue to urge the churches and the individual believers to do the same. So when our, where our judging of others goes, goes wrong, I would say, it's, it's when we try to uh, perhaps um, judge others by our own standards and also uh, judge others um, in in a hypocritical kind of in in a hypocritical sense. So the bottom line is, as Christians, we are called to judge other Christians by God's standards, but never, never by our own standards, and especially not as 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 hypocrites. Thank you for for listening. And, uh, we're going to finish off with prayer now. Father God. Please help us to uphold your name, to honour you and to glorify you. Help us not to be hypocrites. And sh should you need us to counsel others, may we do so in love and in compassion. We pray this in your mercy and your grace. Amen. Amen.